Hi everyone, it's uh, Max Power here with a review. This time I have the Terminator 2 Judgment Day T800 Brain Chip, as they call it, from Hollywood Collectors Group. This one is the international version. I guess there was a US version too. Uh, mine's 51 out of 400. And um, well, I got this piece a while back and I got it to finish out my Terminator collection since I had the endoskeleton and I had the head. So I felt that I needed this piece and um, I found it and I bought it. So I've had this again for a while. But let's do a 360 here so you guys can take a look at the details of it. So, um, this piece, um, actually I do like this piece a lot. It's, um, uh, it's Hollywood Collectors Group, so I'm always expecting something, uh, some issue with it. And, uh, unfortunately what I, you know, it does have some issues, um, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about that a little later, but on a positive note, I really liked this piece because the they did the paint job uh, really nice. It's got a nice paint job on this. The chip itself is uh, uh, nicely done too. I like the flask. Uh, the flask is not glass. This is kind of a, a plastic or plexiglass, so it's not glass, but it's really clear, so it almost looks like it's glass. So I really like the fact that it does have that it does have a light feature which you can see the LED there and the LED there uh, let's see put it right back over here I like the fact that this piece uh, you can adjust it here so if you have a Phillips screwdriver there you can just adjust it I've adjusted it enough where I can uh, move it uh, whichever way I can it'll still uh, be tight so I can move it up and down up to about here depending how you want to display this piece the flask itself you can uh, move it all the way in a circle and uh, it is removable the chip itself nicely done I've seen better there's a company out there uh, called uh, RB replicas, Russ replicas. Uh, they actually manufactured the chip out of real metal, and I've seen it. And I've seen actually, I guess way back there was they did a the whole thing. They actually made this piece metal. They made the flask glass. Uh, so everything was metal and glass, and it looks phenomenal. I mean, it just blows this one away, uh, but. For what this is, it's it's not bad. I mean, it, I think I paid maybe three hundred dollars for it uh, when it came out, so I'm happy with it. And again, it does complete my Terminator collection, which is what I was uh, why why I bought it to begin with. Now, I have a lot of Hollywood Collectors Group group items: the end arm, uh, uh, Terminator bust, and. You know, as I've mentioned in my previous reviews, I've had issues, just small things that just, um, I, I just don't know why they don't uh, do that due diligence of just trying to get it right. And uh, this piece does have that light feature. And I'm, I'm, I'm sad to say that it probably may be about a month into having this, one of the lights went out. Um, Collectibles that have light features, I love them, but I'm always afraid that the, that the light is going to go out and by no means am I the fix-it type of guy where I can go in there and mess with it and fix something. Uh, that's always my biggest fear, buying anything that has a, a light feature, uh, that it will go out. And of course, if it goes out, I can't fix it and the item 
depreciates if I want to resell it. So this is one of those items that the light feature just wasn't done very well. Um, the light feature actually comes here. You can remove this and actually this is the, let me see, this piece right here is what, uh, what you can remove and there's the LED and um, th this is where you would put the batteries. I've tried new batteries uh, and it's simply either the light or the connection to the light is uh, what's what broke. So I can't fix it so now I have um, an item that doesn't have the light feature the way it was designed to. This one is fine. Again, you can remove it for to put new batteries, but this one does work. So put it back here. At night, this thing looks super cool with the with that light feature. I mean, it really gives it that presence uh, when you turn it on, and um, it's just kind of a. I'm bummed out that this side is, isn't working. I'm gonna go ahead and turn and close the shades here so you guys kind of get an idea of what this is. It won't be super, super dark, but you can kind of get an idea of the light feature. about as dark as I can get it guys I'm sorry um, let me turn on the lights on here okay so there you go it does have you know you can kind of get an idea how nice this looks at night um, if I could just make it darker in here but um, it gives you the idea had this light been working you would get the full effect of the entire glow and again at nighttime with the flask the light uh, just reflects off the whole glass and it just really gives it kind of a nice nice real nice look of you know with the chip in there so it is a shame that mine uh, did uh, stop working so I'll give it a 360 look here Now, I don't know if anybody else had that issue with theirs. If they didn't, then I must be one of the unluckiest Hollywood collectors group collector because I always have some type of issue, um, small issue with their items. I think, you know, that, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just unlucky that way. But um, uh, other than that, uh, this thing is really a nice, a nice, nice piece. The paint job on this is really nice done. It's like kind of a silver uh, color. And I'm gonna shine a light on here and give you, so it's got a little bit of that me that metallic uh, shine. Go back, here we go. So, really nicely done. I really like the fact that that glass, I mean, or the um, plastic, it might be plexiglass, I don't know, is really nice and clear. I mean, almost to the point where it just looks like it is glass. So I, I really like that. Unlike my endoskeleton uh, arm that was plexiglass, it, it had scuff marks, and this one does, does not have that. So um, bring back the chip, give you details about what's inside. Go ahead and open the shades. All right. So overall, um, if you're looking to purchase this item, if it's still available, you find it to finish out your Terminator uh, col uh, collection. Um, go ahead and buy it. I think it's just a really nice piece. Uh, to finish out that collect uh, that collection 
uh, of Terminator items. Uh, I'm going to throw in a, a bonus here. So I'm going to put it a little bit off to the side. I wanted to, to kind of show you guys I have this cup that uh, I got. This is a cup that I bought at the uh, at Universal Studios. I bought this cup at the ride. So um, I don't think they have the ride anymore, anymore, but just kind of a nice little extra thing that I bought. I really like how they, they did the uh, Terminator in there. So I thought I'd throw that in instead of making another video just for the cup. So, yeah. A little bit up closer here. Let me sit this down and show you. So really they did the nice mold on the cup. Anyway, that's my 3D Terminator cup. I wanted to show you guys. Go back to the speeds here. Okay. All right. So if you have any questions, any uh, what is it, um, any comments, uh, go ahead and leave them. I'll get back with you as as soon as I can. Um, Again, I do I do like this piece a lot, and if you're looking to buy it, um, go ahead and do it. Uh, hopefully, you don't have the same issues with the lighting that I did, and uh, it lasts uh, the lighting effect la last you, or at least if you know how to fix those things, you can probably refix it. Maybe even put a better uh, LED in there. So, great piece, uh, some flaws, but uh, I'm happy with it. So. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching the, uh, my YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you like. Um, like if you like. And I will see you, see you soon with another review of some of my other collectibles that I have.